welcome back to our channel life of zeons if you haven't been here before my name is zisha and my name is Brunson. And today we are filming a vlog. We have not filmed a vlog in a very, very, very long time. I think since we went to Byron Bay. Yeah, which was that? three weeks ago. Yeah, come up. <laughs> come three weeks or two weeks? Yeah, So there's a lot to fill you in on, but I'll probably just wait until we get back home. At the moment, we are on our way to Spotlight because we want to update our bed linen. And I really want to try it in like a proper neck pillow and a seat a silk a silk pillowcase so uh they have pretty good prices at spotlight from what i've seen online so that's why i want to go there but i also want to visit tk maxx so and today ticket maxx and mexican oh yeah later on mexican yeah, later. You're doing that classic YouTuber thing where you tell them absolutely everything that we're doing. Yeah. Like they already know. And then you do all the stuff and then you sit back down and then you say, okay, today we went to Spot Life. Classic YouTuber vlogs. We try and avoid doing that at all costs because we know how boring it is to watch. Well, but I'm hey, sometimes it happens. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a YouTube hobbyist actually. <laughs> But yes, anyway, we're on the road. We're loving our new car, obviously. It's been an absolute dream. Although, she had to already go to the doctor. Yes, just this week. I had to pop it in there for a few hours to get uh, the electricals sorted out. Apparently, there was several things of software that were not installed. Were not installed. So, yeah, basically. But it was all operating. Everything was operating, but not to the fullest capacity. Oh, oh, watch out for this little car here. Everyone's deciding to change lanes even though we're trying to merge. Yeah. Don't you just love it when people do that? We we're, 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 like, have no choice but to merge and someone from the right lane pulls left. Yeah. Top job. Thanks, mate. Appreciate Thanks, that. mate. Thanks. <laughs> Seriously. The traffic is actually mental right now. Yeah, what, it is a bit bad. Um, so yeah, anyway, a week and a half into owning this car, we turned it on and multiple alarms well multiple not alarms, alarms but it was just like things were not like enabled and then it said check the handbook for whatever it's yeah in. literally everything check your mg handbook check your mg handbook and then the handbook just said like basically get a service asap and uh yeah then we like had to email mg and like we sent them the video footage that we took which you guys have obviously just seen um and yeah, then we had to get her all booked in and there was a whole lot of software that wasn't installed But then it like confuses me so much because Like why like she only did it once In the week and a half that we had her and then we had her for another week or so before she was seen by the doctor mm. And she never did it again, and that's what really confuses me. It's like if something was missing Why didn't we have more problems? Whoa. Wow, what's happening? That car fully just nearly ran right off the road. He just did a hugely erratic move. Gosh. That was crazy. There was nothing even in his way. Gosh. It's like they had a domestic inside the car or something. There are some crazy drivers out today. I know, the traffic is actually insane. It's like there's an event on or something. Yeah, it's like probably. it's busier than what it is sometimes when we go to work in the morning. Yeah, and it's like 12.23 on a Saturday. You wouldn't expect traffic to be that bad. No. Crazy. But yeah, it's all sorted now apparently, fingers crossed. Yeah, hopefully we don't have any more troubles, but um, we've been getting like a lot of comments from like people on our MG videos and there was um, a person that commented on one of our last MG videos saying that he bought one in I think 2018 he said and he was terrified because like back then it wasn't really like 
it had just been kind of, you know, started to be made in China. It was no longer made in Europe. So he was like, oh my goodness, like have I just made a mistake in buying this car? And, um, and he said the first year of owning it was a little bit tricky because like the mechanics didn't really know like how to work with them, how to fix them, what to look out for and things like that. But he said after the first year of having it, it was like, it's so good. So because this is a new model, then you know, it hasn't even been out for a year. So we might be in a similar boat to what he was explaining to us. Maybe, that the first year might be a little bit rocky, but then after that it's good as goals. Yeah, I reckon there's a lot of parts that they recycle across the ZS and the ZST anyway. Because the cars are very similar. Yeah. Except for obviously the computer system. Yeah, the computer system's very different. A lot more advanced than this yeah. one. Yeah, you can, you can tell when you're driving the two that it's so, so different. But, you know... This was a very reasonably priced car for what we got and yeah. I asked some some colleagues at work the other day and they like how much they thought we spent on this car I said 50 grand this was only about 35 yeah and they do like let's face it you get what you pay for like we've bought an SUV with all of these amazing features mm. for a considerably lower cost than what some of these other bigger more well-known brands you know charge yeah definitely well then you compare the benchmark with like similar compact suvs in the market like the suzuki vitara we took for a test drive oh. not comparable that car is don't go there. don't go there if you yeah. want a decent car and a big bang for your buck do not go the suzuki vitara sorry for those people who might have purchased the suzuki vitara yeah the suzuki vitara like literally had no wow factor whatsoever and it was 38 38 uh, 36 yeah 36 or 37 without you're yeah, probably close to 37 without any uh tinting or paint coating paint protectant or anything so it would have been it would have been around that 40 grand mark if we got all the other stuff yeah well i guess yeah that's true i thought it was 38 on the invoice that they gave us oh, and then um jimney was 36 maybe yeah maybe you're right yeah and then yeah with all the like after after sale upgrades that you need to get like we definitely wanted tinting that wasn't even included in that cost and we got like all the tinting and everything for 35 so you get what you pay for basically but we're still happy like you know she had to go see the doctor but you know have you told them what you've named the car oh yeah sophie she keeps saying it's she and everyone's like why are you calling the car she probably <laughs> i call her Sophie for sure and her name is sophie because i think sophie is like such a glamorous name like it's a really like pretty sophisticated glamorous name and i think that sophie has all of those <laughs> all of those components and sometimes a little bit bossy which so definitely can be just a little bit bossy <laughs> but we all can <laughs> She'll definitely tell you off if you're not driving properly. <laughs> yeah, she'll be at you. <laughs> As Bronson experiences more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> We've just arrived at Spotlight and one thing that we are now so fussy about is where we park our car. Yeah. <laughs> like the goal before with Sylvie was just park as close as you can <laughs> with this car. And it's not about closing as, par as close as you can. I had it what just came out of my mouth. I don't even know. I don't know, I wasn't listening. It's not it's not about parking as close as you can. It's about finding a park That's... where the car is least likely to get damaged. Yeah. <laughs> finding a suitable parking space. Preferably as far away as possible, but I think we've got a good one here. We've got no one parked next to us on this side. It's just the hedge. And then we've got a Mercedes on the other side. And we've got a Mercedes on the other side. So that those people that open their car, they should have respect for like other cars. Do you know what I mean? They like, don't want to damage their car yeah, on our car. That's right. So it goes both ways. It goes both ways. It's like a mutual respect. We won't open our door into their car. They won't open the door into our car. Unless they have kids and then we're f <laughs> We're all f <laughs> we aren't, we're going to have to bleep that out. Yeah, we have to bleep that out. <laughs> we've decided on these sheets. They were originally 190 down to 69. And they feel pretty soft, to be honest. So. And they're the same as what we've currently got. Yeah, same colour. Well, we think they're the same. It's a bit tricky because you got yours in a 
a uh, office sale because Bronson used to work for the company. That I got mine for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> now we're paying 70. Damn it. <laughs> he used to work for the company that owns Spotlight and it used to have his, what are they called, sample sales. Yeah. Yeah, so good. And they're basically this colour and Bronson thinks it was in this packaging but we can't be sure. But we're happy with this colour anyway. Now we're going to look at silk pillowcases and the neck pillows. I said to Zisha, we're not tr we're not getting these expensive pillows without testing them out first. What should you do? <laughs> Test them out in the store. <laughs> How's it feel, babe? Um, you feel like know. a new woman? Does your neck neck feel supported? I guess yeah, it feels alright. Do you want to have a turn? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Carpet does actually smell a bit, but anyway. <laughs> this is you cannot actually chest this out for real. This is cardboard <laughs> and plastic. Great test. <laughs> no pillowcases here, is there? The other thing that I came for is the silk pillowcases, but this is just the towels. Yep. Goodness me, this isn't being very successful. This is like our last trip to Spotlight ages ago. I don't think we even bought anything and I had a huge list. It's always so unsuccessful. We're in the home decor a bit now. I love this. I think this is so cute. I bet you're Bronson, you hate it, do you? Yuck. Yeah, I just knew you were not like that. But, what is it actually for? Alcohol. Oh, really? No, it's just a decor. I think it's yeah, just it's decor. Just, it's put some stones in it or something? Nah, you don't put stones in it. <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't. I just think that is so cute. They've got some nice other bottles as well. I just like the colour of that one. They've got little frames. Nice little things. Even this is nice, but I just, I'm not too keen on that kind of ready colour. Nice things to choose from. We're actually trying to look for some photo frames, but we haven't even got lucky in that. A few of you might remember from our last vlog, actually, <laughs> three weeks ago. Um, we got these in Byron Bay. My God, sorry, terrible. I was just turning around the right way. We're trying to find some frames for them. I really like this brush gold, but it only comes like with a, like you'd have to have a border around it. But I want it like with no border. I just want the edge of the page to like be right on the frame. But that's kind of what I'm thinking of, but that's the only option, which I just don't like the white and the cream. It doesn't really look that nice. Then the only other size they have is like a massive, massive one, which is annoying. Is this actually the size? No, She's see. Been thinking about white as well. Not even that's the size. Try that one. Oh yeah, but that's not the size either. And we can't have the white because the white and the cream don't look any good. No, and I don't like the frame either. No. What about this one? Kind of this rustic beach. No, see, yeah. too small. You have to cut it. God, and I don't actually really like that because that's back to the cream and the white situation anyway. Brunson thought these, but I just think these are hideous. <laughs> I do not like those at all. I think they're very cheap looking. Man, Spotlight has not pulled through, have they? I also tried this kind of look, but once again, it's the white and the cream. It doesn't look that good. Something like this would be good as well, but this is like teeny tiny like that cane look no, no there's no. nothing that ended up being quite stressful <laughs> it got so busy and the line and just to pay for our things like how long were we standing in line for 10 minutes plus oh yeah a little while it's fine there was a lot of people lining up we came to the decision on one neck pillow and yeah. we're going to try it out which I think is a good call. I think it's a good compromise. Instead of paying $120 on two pillows that we don't know, that will work. That is right. So we've got that. We couldn't find the silk pillowcases. Such a shame. And we couldn't find some gold frames or some any type of frame, really, for those pictures that we got from Byron. So it's the next day. We did film the Mexican yesterday afternoon, but you saw that at the beginning of this video. 
and we went to TK Maxx, but we didn't flick the camera on. We just, I don't know, we just forgot to do it because we haven't been vlogging in such a long time. And uh, picking up the camera yesterday was nice. I have been editing the footage this morning, actually. That's what I've been up to, and it's so nice to have all the memories to look back on, which is like the whole reason why I do this. So it's been really, really fun getting back into the groove of vlogging. We missed our last three uploads, which is very unlike us, but unfortunately I have just been so low on energy that I haven't had anything to give. And in terms of my creativity and my motivation, it has just been virtually at zero. Uh, Good news is, is in a month's time, I am actually dropping down to part-time work, which I feel like is just going to give me so much more time and energy to put towards our YouTube channel, but more importantly, a whole lot of other ventures Bronson and I want to take. So not long now, I will no longer be doing five days at my nine to five. I will only be doing three days at my nine to five. So I am really, really looking forward to that and uh, hopefully that that is just going to give me the little boost of energy that I need and more importantly time that I need to put into a whole world of other things that Bronson and I want to take on this year. We have got quite a few goals and believe it or not we're already halfway through the year so we've got to definitely dedicate a lot more time to what our future plans are. I thought I would update you on this pillow as well. So this is the pillow that we got yesterday at Spotlight. It's one of the ones that has like the dip in it for your neck. I don't know if the camera is really picking it up. Let me see if I can do it this way instead. See how there's like a little dip there and you've kind of got a bigger side and a smaller side. So I did sleep on this last night and I must say I really, really enjoyed it, which I was surprised about because generally when you try something new and there's something new in your sleep regime, you don't really sleep that well. But I must say I enjoyed it. I will have to let Bronson have a turn tonight to get his thoughts, but I think that it was definitely worth the money. And the memory foam is like a really nice texture as well. And it's not that awful memory foam. I know my mum years and years ago had a memory foam pillow that when you put your head in it, like you couldn't move. It was almost like cement and you just got stuck there. And anytime you moved in the night, it would like wake you up because you'd actually like have to sit up and move across and then reposition yourself. And it's not like that, which is really good. So I'm happy with that purchase. We went to TK Maxx yesterday afternoon. We didn't flick the camera on, but I did pick up this nice, sweatshirt as well. It was only $39.99 and I just think it is so super cute. So I'm pleased to add that to my winter wardrobe. Bronson and I have definitely been feeling the cold coming into winter. Last winter was so easy breezy for us because we were so new to Queensland that the winter didn't really phase us. We just thought, yeah, this is easy. This winter after only living one summer here, anything less than 25 degrees and we're cold. So both Bronson and I are slowly adding to our winter wardrobe because we definitely need a few more warmer items on hand because we got rid of so much thinking that we wouldn't need it. But anyhow, it gives us a chance to update our uh, wardrobe and update our style a little bit, which is really good. I will wrap this video up here. If you made it to this point, thank you ever so much. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know how the weather is in your area. I know that this part of the world is freezing, so let me know how you're coping. Or if you're in summer, let me know how gorgeous and wonderful it is basking in the sunshine. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Hit the subscribe button and we will see you in our next video. Bye!